How are you folks? Hello, welcome back to another video. So in a previous video of mine, I said I like to think I'm fairly well traveled around the country of Ireland and I've seen a lot of places through my videos. And in a previous video, I gave my top five favorite places in Ireland. Now I wanna give you my top five favorite underrated places that I have visited in Ireland. Again, disclaimer, these are only places I have been to. I haven't been to every single nook and cranny of the country. I think I've come somewhat close, but there's obviously places that are gonna miss out because I have not been to them. So these are kind of big enough towns and cities that just unfortunately don't come onto the radar when people come to Ireland or even people within Ireland go on staycations around the country. You've obviously got your Dublin, Belfast, Cork, Kilkenny, Galway. These are the places everyone is going. I wanna give you five places that kinda sneak under the radar for me and possibly might be a bit cheaper than going to those other big cities anyway. Probably not much cheaper because Ireland is an expensive country, but you get my drift. Just before we kick off the list, you know it as well as I do, lads, there would be no channel. I would have no living without the sponsors of this channel. So I just wanna say a massive thank you to my good pals over at Manscaped for sponsoring this particular video. And in the last two months, they've brought out probably two of their best products. First of all, the Beard Hedger Pro. It might look big, it might look scary, but don't worry, the skin safe technology greatly reduces the chances of nicking your face, usually say your balls your face this time. It's also got the accessory on top that can be popped off. All these different settings, literally 0.5 all the way up to 10. So you can go any length you want. Now for me, arguably the star of the show, the handyman. Pocket size, slip that in the pocket, wouldn't it? It looks like a little phone. How's it going? No, it's not a phone. It's a razor. This is what I just shaved my neck with and my face. Don't know if this is the right way to say it, but basically if you couldn't be arsed with the shaving foam and kind of cutting your face in little plasters and all with the, those kind of disposable razors, this shaves so close without nicking you. That's the main thing. So if you're interested in, you know, supporting the channel, lads, any of these products have piqued your interest, go over to manscaped.com, use my code PINTS20 to get 20% off plus free shipping now let's get on to this list okay so here are five of the most underrated town slash cities in ireland in my opinion i'm gonna go in no particular order because i, th I just don't know if the order of this is the most underrated this is the fourth most underrated i just think these are five places you should definitely go first up we have mullingar in county westmead bang smack in the middle of ireland i have to admit i went to film a video there just after christmas last year and up until that i would have just thought mullingar was just somewhere you drive through there's not a lot going on i would hear of people going on i would hear of lads going on stag parties and people going on hen parties and trips to mullingar and i would think I don't really, why are you going there? There's nothing really there. It's just, it's literally just on the motorway. You drive through it to get to the other side of Ireland. Boy, was I wrong when I went there. It's an absolutely beautiful town. It's steeped in musical history. You've got the likes of Joe Dolan and Niall Horan from Mullingar. There's always great Irish musical festivals on in Mullingar during the summer. And it's actually got some really stunning old kind of architecture as well. Ooh, architecture. But you know what I mean? I got one of the best pints of Guinness. Now it's got, this pubs in Mullingar, it's not just great Guinness, they've got a great atmosphere. The people in Mullingar, I don't want to sound pretentious, but I think the people in Mullingar, they just, they don't think too much of themselves. They don't put themselves up above anyone else because, I don't know if it's because they're just bang smack in the middle of the country and they just think of themselves as average Joes or average Janes or whatever way you want to put it. But they're really welcoming, really always up for a chat, up for the crack. And the Guinness in Mullingar is definitely top tier. I think I gave an 8.8, .8, close to a 9 out of 10 to a pint in Dolan's Bar. Some other great spots in Canton Casey's, beautiful pub, absolutely beautiful pub, amazing staff. Clark's Bar, a little bit further up the main street, really warm, welcoming vibe. And if you really want an experience, go into Wallace's Bar. The guy running that place, hopefully he's still there. An absolute character to say the least. But Mullingar flies under the radar. Everything's probably 20% cheaper than Dublin City. So if you're looking for a cheap-ish weekend away, Mullingar is where to start. Okay, second, again, no particular order. I'm gonna go with Wexford Town. Wexford, most people in Ireland will know it as the, the sunny southeast. A lot of Irish people as kids, if your family couldn't afford to, or just didn't want to go across to Spain or Portugal or France, you'd be taken to Wexford and you'd be told you're pretty much in Spain now. Tends to get the best of the unpredictable Irish weather. There's absolutely no way I'm guaranteed if you go to Wexford, it's gonna be sunny because at the end of the day, you're still in Ireland. But it does, but it does, but it, but it does just tend to, it does just tend to be 
a couple of degrees warmer down in the sunny southeast and it's just a beautiful town by the sea that again i said it in my last video of top five places in ireland i said west is best i probably do agree with that but there are definitely pockets of the coastline along the east coast of ireland that are absolutely beautiful wexford pubs brilliant unbelievable hospitality and great pints the Pike Bar, there's a bar called The Sky and The Ground, quite a unique name. And then another bar with a bit of a mad name. It seems like, I remember being so confused, it seems like it's got about five names. It's called Mackin's The Cape Bar slash The Undertakers. I remember being so confused saying, where are people trying to send me? There's about four different pubs. It was all the one. Great pubs, great people. Wexford, sunny southeast, would definitely recommend. Next on this list, I'm getting great memories reminiscent about going to these underrated towns. The next one is one of two cities on the list. It is Derry City. Derry has this sort of way of being, feeling like a, a big city, but also has a very cozy vibe to it. The people of Derry, you cannot help but love the Derry accent and the Derry people. So warm, so welcoming, so full of fun. The people of Derry are probably sick of it, but the TV show, The Derry Girls, has really exploded the tourism. There's murals on walls. There's sandwiches, burgers, places named after them. It's really bringing people to the city of Derry and that can only be a good thing. It's steeped in history, very recent history that I won't get into. You can learn for yourself when you're up there, but I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. It's got some class pubs. Pat O'Donnell's probably the most popular. A place called the Park Bar. Slightly, slightly out of the town, a little bit more of a local feel to that. And then a really cool kind of musical themed bar is a place called Sandino's. Fourth on the list is a town. I wasn't sure if it was a city or a town. It's quite a big one. Sligo Town goes completely under the radar, in my opinion anyway, because if you're gonna go west, most people are gonna go to Galway, Westport, Castle Bar, an absolutely gorgeous town with the River Shannon flowing right through it. It's definitely gonna be cheaper than Dublin City, but possibly even a little bit cheaper than Galway. So I would highly recommend Sligo for a night or two away. It's got loads of great hotels, loads of, I was so surprised by the pubs there. Just the level of hospitality, People aren't taking themselves too seriously. There is that sort of small town local vibe, even though it's a big enough town. You've got Foley's, really warm, really cozy. You've got Shoot the Crows, another really cool, unique pub. And then one of the finest looking, coolest pubs I have ever been to, right on the river, Thomas Connolly's. I say it's like the West of Ireland's answer to the Gravediggers in Dublin. Really old, really cool furniture. Lovely little snug at the front. It's just so rare to find a pub as authentic as that. Last but not least, like I said, no particular order. I've said it about five times, but I just want to make sure you know. This is the second of two cities on this list. We had Derry City. Last but not least, Limerick City. People might be surprised to see this on the list because it's a very well-known city, but I just feel like sometimes I do have to be one to stand up for Limerick City because unfortunately it always just gets this bad rap. I think it's it kind of comes from over a decade ago. People kind of used to joke about Limerick and they'd call it like Stab City and all this sort of shite. But when I went to Limerick, I had a great time. Again, like Sligo, the River Shannon beats and flows through Limerick City and just gives it that bit of life that a city needs. Now don't get me wrong, in terms of modernity, Limerick, it's not the most modern city in the world, but I don't think if you're coming to an Irish town or city, you don't want super modern. We're not known for modern in Ireland. It's real, it's authentic, and you step foot into any pub in Limerick, you will be met with open arms. They'll probably take the piss out of you, have a joke, but that's what you want. Limerick City has an unbelievable sporting culture. From rugby, they've got Thoman Park, the home of Munster Rugby. They've got the best, currently the best hurling team in Ireland. So if you can get to a hurling match in Limerick, you'd be very lucky. So much sport going on, it even bleeds into the pub culture because one of the best pubs in Limerick is owned by former Irish rugby player, Jerry Flannery. What's it called? Flannery's. No shit, Sherlock. Right across from that, a pub called Tom Collins, probably my favorite pub in Limerick. Oh, it's a, it's a tie between Tom Collins and JJ Bowles. So Tom Collins and Flannery's is both smack bang in the city centre and then you go up the River Shannon a little bit, JJ Bowles, sit out the back, have a pint of Guinness, sitting on the river. Absolutely amazing. So Limerick again, like I said, it's not, it's somewhere that, yeah, you would know the name of it, but I don't think people think when, oh, where we go away for a weekend, they don't automatically say Limerick and I feel like you should go there because it's great crack. 
So that's been my five underrated places, cities, towns, whatever you want to call it, to go in Ireland, given my little bit of experience traveling around the Emerald Isle. Thank you for tuning in, lads. We'll see you in the next video.